You want to work here? What? Yeah, one of the readers just left. There's a job opening. How can you just get it? My boss told me to find someone. I'm in charge of it. All you have to do is meet him. So have you ever done this kind of work before? Well, uh, you know, book reports, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you read? I, uh, I like Mike Lupica. Mike Lupica? He's a sports writer for the Daily News. <laughs> I find them very insightful. No, no, no. I mean, I mean authors. A lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. I don't even want to mention anybody because I'm afraid I'm going to leave somebody out. Name a couple. Who do I like? I like Art Vandelay. Art Vandelay? He's an obscure writer. Beatnik, you know, uh -huh. from the village. Uh -huh. What's he written? Venetian blinds. <laughs> still here. You're a dynamo. I can't believe I get paid for this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll see you tomorrow. How you doing? Hello. sex with the cleaning woman on your desk? <laughs> Who are you? How did you do that? Hannigans. <laughs> Hannigans? I was sitting there in the office, and the cleaning woman comes in. I've always been attracted to cleaning women. <laughs> cleaning women, chambermaids. Yeah, chambermaids. I'm attracted to them, too. <laughs> Why is that? It's a woman in your room. So, go ahead. So, uh, she starts vacuuming. Back and forth, back and forth. Her hips swiveling. Her breasts, uh... Convulsing? Convulsing? I don't know, I'm trying to help you. So then I asked her if she wanted a drink. You don't drink. I know, but I couldn't think of anything else to say to her. So you started drinking. So we started drinking and, uh... I'll tell you, I don't know if it was the alcohol or the ammonia, but the next thing I knew, she was mopping the floor with me. <laughs> and how was it? Well, the sex was okay, but uh, I threw up from the Hennigans. Good thing the cleaning lady was there. I have to talk to you. This cleaning woman's turning the screws on me. She, she, she's pushing for this whole relationship thing. She keeps calling me. She's threatening to go to the boss and tell him everything. I could lose my job. I, I, I got to do something to keep her quiet. This is for you. Oh, Georgie, you bought this for me? Oh, I knew you cared for me. As, as, as you care for me, which is why it's very important that you never breathe a word to anyone about the, uh, you know. <laughs> Of course it's cashmere. Oh, oh cashmere sweater. I'll judge you, bite you. I had a feeling you would like it. Oh, I'm going to try it on. No, 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 don't try it on. Now try it on later. Oh, no, look. Oh, it fits beautiful. All right, take it off. You're, you're going to ruin it. <laughs> What's this? I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, it's come to my attention that you and the cleaning woman have engaged in sexual intercourse on the desk in your office. Is that correct? <laughs> Who said that? She did. Was that wrong? <laughs> Should I not have done that? I tell you, I gotta plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon, <laughs> You know, because I've worked in a lot of offices, and <laughs> I tell you, people do that all the time. So. You're fired. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. I, I want you out of here by the end of the day.
about the whole Christmas spirit thing? Any flexibility there? Nah. 